Okay, some people have asked to uh, have a video showing how to install the custom presets on Spooky2 software. And you'll see the presets here, all recommended presets, and the custom ones will display at the bottom of this preset list. So the first thing you must do is exit the Spooky2 software. And now we need to extract the Radiant's presets files. And this works the same for any custom preset. I will extract straight to the desktop. And if you open this folder, you can see the text files which we need to copy and put in the preset folder. You can control C to copy these or you can right click and copy. Which we'll do for the purposes of this video. Now we need to navigate to computer, my computer, and C drive, which is where Spooky 2 is installed on this system. We open up Spooky 2 and we find the presets folder, which is empty. And this is where the custom presets go. So right click, paste, or you can use Control V. and they are in the preset folder and we close this window and what we do now is we open up Spooky 2 software again you can wait for the database to update Okay, we should see in this list there's a custom presets here. So most of the time you need the general setting if you're connecting straight to out one and you can apply your frequencies as usual. So for example Schumann and we use Schumann resonance and this is what we recommend as standard for uh, copying remedies so there is that box and start the channel as usual there you go so this is for standard connection, um, boost is slightly different and most of the time you'll only need to use the healing program for running boost. Um, what it does is it, it has particular offsets here that are required for it to function with the Radio Mix device and accessories. Um, you'll see with the killing mode that the offset is reversed. Um, so without these offset changes, um, the spooky boost doesn't work properly with uh, the Radionics device. That's all for now, thanks for watching.